So for today's WordPress tutorial, I want to show you how you can secure your website. So um, this is actually a topic I hate, and this is probably why I've had most terrible experience, um, which I'll share with you of my own site being hacked a lot. And um, a few months ago, I was getting hacked a lot. Uh, Prettier Web was getting more traffic, so that made me um, a good candidate for malicious code to get into my website. And you think that you're kind of a small um, person on the web and you're not gonna get targeted, but if you see spam comments on your website, uh, it's a pretty good clue that your website is out there and uh, is a target. So, but I was really lazy. I didn't have backups going on and I didn't have a security plugin, which is the two things I really recommend you doing because um, if you are on a shared host, which is probably uh, most likely for WordPress if you run your blog. Um, it's cheaper than a managed host. A managed host, de they deal with the security for you, but it's in the price range of maybe 20 to $30 a month as opposed to $5 a month. So um, just for price and because I am uh, pretty web savvy that I should be using a shared account. So um, anyway, so I was, I was getting hacked a lot, basically, and I have a number of WordPress sites hosted on my account. I have my own, a uh, couple of my own websites, and then I have a couple of websites of um, some friends and some projects that I'm working on. So I have a ton of WordPress installs, a ton of plugins, and uh, the number one thing to do is keep your uh, WordPress, um, uh, WordPress software itself and all the plugins up to date because, um, these hackers will figure out vulnerabilities in the code and they'll see that you have these plugins and they'll get in there and they can access your account. And typically what I found what they do is they just kind of insert this, um, they insert maybe links or they insert um, some code that runs that kind of degrades the server. So it'll, they're trying to bring down um, a host because of, um, of degradation of performance. And uh, so it's really annoying, it's really stupid, but uh, it happens and it, hap it was happening to me a lot. And what I ended up doing, I didn't have a backup of anything. So um, luckily they didn't touch the database, they just touched the files. So what I had to do is manually go in there and remove the code. Um, what you'll end up having to do if you're in my situation, you'll probably have to just um, no completely wipe out WordPress and install it again. And then of course your themes though, if you have a custom theme like I do, you need to manually go in there and it's pretty obvious the code that they inject, it's usually right at the top and it's a bunch of gibberish. Um, but I mean, you can screw that up too. If you're not, if you don't know what a PHP code looks like, it's easy to screw that up and, and maybe screw up your website. And unfortunately, uh, these shared hosting providers like Bluehost or HostGator, they're not gonna give you too much support. They kind of, they're really just hosting your files. They kind of think all that stuff is up to you. So you're really kind of screwed if this happens to you. But since then, I've, I've done two things. I now have uh, regular backups and I have um, one of two um, security plugins on WordPress and they are one the top 10 plugins in WordPress so it's really popular and it's really effective because it's been about four months since I've been hacked again so anyway I'm gonna go through what you can do so uh, I already created a different post on backups which I'll link in my post but essentially this is the plugin that I use because it sends a copy to Dropbox so you don't have it on your host you can have it on Dropbox uh, your backup Backups, and then you can do an easy restore if anything goes wrong. Um, and so here in more detail is an article about uh, security and WordPress and everything you should do. Um, there's a lot of articles out, about there, out there about kind of changing um, like your table names, changing your username, changing your password so it's encrypted. Um, uh, just a lot of things, uh, changing can your, your file permissions. Anyway. But that is a long study. So luckily, there's two themes out there. One is iTheme security. When you install this plugin, you'll get you kind of activate it, and then you get immediately thrown to a dashboard where you just go through a list and you just say fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. And so, um, yeah, I, this 
they're saying I don't have a, a scheduled backups, but I'm using the other plugin for that. But you can also back it up um, right in this plugin. They do it on your on your own server, which I don't recommend doing. But uh, if you don't, if you can, just get away with this plugin and doing backups here, and then. You just go through their list and you just click fix it for all this stuff and it's all the stuff that's been out there that says that can help your site, that secure your site and it's really easy to do and they even have a scan of your website so if things um, come up on your website, if, if the file's been touched, it will tell you right away, um, it'll send you an email that file's been touched and um, so here's one email that I got from them. And this actually was only four days ago that says someone has been locked out because they had too many bad login attempts. So it um, that shows you how often this happens, that someone's trying to get into your site and access your site four days ago. And so this says that they've, they've tried to log in this many times and now the IP has been blocked. So that's kind of cool to know that's working. Another really good um, security plugin is WordFence. Uh, it's it's just an alternative to iThemes. It does a lot of the same things. Um, you can scan all, all your files to see um, if, if plugins or uh, the WordPress core has been changed. And it has a whole bunch of other uh, uh, settings and features for, um, for, again, everything that's recommended to secure your website that's out there. And here's also a... a a email that it sends to you uh, when you need to update your plugins, which is really um, helpful and useful. And um, so this one says um, that my Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress needs an upgrade. Um, it kind of it scares me every time I have because it just says, "Oh, it's kind of scary WordPress alert problems," and then it says it's, it's critical that I need to update this pl plugin. But it's important. But anyway, but it's a nice thing to see that you need to, it's a nice reminder that you need to update your plugins. So uh, those are two really easy things to do. Um, you do a backup, get your backups. You can, I schedule mine every Friday to do a backup of the website. You can do it daily and um, it can send it off to Dropbox and just install this, I, this one of these security products plugins, either iThemes or WordFence, takes five minutes and your site is secure. Um, I know firsthand from doing this that it's secured my site for several months. So I uh, hope you like this video and I hope to do more on WordPress um, tutorials. Uh, I'll hopefully get a new schedule in the new year where they're more frequent. Anyway, uh, Merry Christmas everyone. Thanks.